Oh, the diamonds, the stars, and thousands of suns. My lips are getting ready for the oath. My destiny is sealed. Is this the anteroom of heaven, or is this the anteroom of? Here I am, the celebrated bride to be, applying colors on my skin. Because this is what I'm supposed to do. I had never dreamt of such a splendor. The lights are like diamonds, reflecting thousands of suns and moons in the sky within the walls of this magnificent fortress, between the hands of my Lord, I shall leave my future. A future that my father has always imagined. Forget about the princess of the thousand and one nights. I, I am just another Indian woman, hailing from a wealthy family. A woman who secretly has to choose between this fortress, the rock, and a hard place. Amongst all these treasures stands this man, Thruv. agreed to take my hand and walk with me around the sacred fire. We shared the same benches at Oxford. The landscape from the plain window looked more than promising, especially for my dear dad. To me, it just looked bumpy, silent, and somehow gloomy. His beautiful smile is the apex of kindness and devotion. His touch so soothing. His steadiness is so reassuring. And yet, there is something I need to tell him. Something that he needs to know. father of this dutiful daughter that you have raised and that I am. I am bowing to you, to your unfaltering love, the builder and the cement of this family. The rock, the oak and the reed that never broke. How could I betray the empire that you have sweated and set with this Cornelian dilemma that is holding me by the throat today. Papa, I owe you my dreams.
my friends, my pillars of support, always together, through the good times and the bad. You knew everything. You understood everything. But you didn't say much. We just smiled and laughed and giggled, trying to make the best out of the situation trying to hope for a better future for each other. I almost felt lighter and more carefree around you. I was enjoying and trying to make the most of this little bubble of happiness. Everyone looked so happy. For a minute, I forgot how it made me feel. I am but Ophelia, lost in the wrong play. Oh Ma, oh Pa, oh my dearest little sister. Your love is priceless. Your love is eternal. Mine is too. It's infinite. I have been all around the world and you are at the center of the spin. I am part of this tradition and in charge of perpetuating it. I have seen divided families. I have seen sons and daughters fighting constantly with your parents in the name of modernity. I have seen these internal wars that create anguish and despair in everyone's heart. My family was so beautiful, so perfect. Their eyes filled with warmth and care and hearts filled with nothing but love. It was all so overwhelming. I, I could easily lose myself in it. If only she didn't exist. You are my rock of never-ending love. You raised me strong and confident and never called me a sacrifice. It is your beautiful heart that shines through my eyes. And yet, you know my secret. That I am in love with another. You are the only one who can decipher every sigh of mine because you always kept me right next to the healing beats of your heart. I could stay here on your lap forever but humans have to make choices and all my parts feed back to her.
three little words, eight little letters, whispered like a sigh, traveling from your skin to mine, drawing the silhouette that melts with mine in a soothing song. I need to hide my face behind my hands. They smell of you. me in your arms, little one. Let me be your little sister for a moment. Let us stay away from the waves of a heart's turmoil. I have to choose between the devil and the deep blue sea. Give me your hand, but do not follow me. My dress erases my steps in the sand. My loneliness is my destiny. Loss and love start with the same letters. No one told me before. The sound of the waves have synchronized with the beat of my heart. I am now even more lost than I was before. smiles would fade out of these happy faces. How many of these faces would disappear in the oblivion? How many would frown? How many will pretend they do not see? Would I call them hypocrites? Would I be able to ignore them? Would I hate it? questions facing through my mind. I need to find those answers. I'll be damned if I do. I'll be damned if I don't. myself on the surface of her skin, but his eyes weaken every muscle in my body.
golden tray, ready to consume. It all boils down to this moment. So, what should I do? They say, love is all about family. But will I still be family? If I choose love.